Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you're having a great day. In this video, I want to talk to you about mail and how we mail things here in America. There are several different ways that we mail our letters. One of those ways is actually going to the post office and mailing our letter. This is the front of the post office near my hometown. So I'm gonna go on in. This is inside the post office. This is a 24 hour area. Over there, it gets locked at night, but this area is open so that people with keys can come in and they can get their mail. Right here is where people mail letters for out of town. They can put them through here in a slot or if it's bigger than an envelope in here. And there's also collection times, just like the collection box outside. And then this one is for this area only. So if they, if your letter is in El Dorado, for example, then you can mail it in here. If it's out of town, then you put it in there and it'll be picked up. This particular post office was dedicated in 1992 to George Bush, our president. So that's pretty cool information. <laughs> I'm Brenna, I'm Julie's cousin. We've been bugging each other for 34 years. I work at the Diamond Springs Post Office, which is about two miles away from here. I am a rural carrier, okay. and so I basically do the outskirts of the town. But unfortunately, Diamond Springs only has three carriers, okay. so there's only three of us, and I do the city part of the routes. I have been working for the post office for 13 years. <laughs> These are individual P.O. boxes. They actually pay for them. It's more secure. We have a lot of mail theft here in El Dorado County. So a lot of times if the important stuff, like checks, if you get a lot of checks in the mail, they'll have them delivered to the P.O. box. But if they have stuff at their house, it's always good to have mail delivery at your house because sometimes things show up. Property taxes, those go directly to the house. Okay, well cool. So that type of stuff. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Brenna. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Another way is to access a U.S. mailbox that we find sometimes outside the grocery stores or just at different places around town and they have pickup times listed on them so we can put our mail in there and be assured that it'll get picked up. Alright so this mail collection box, this one happens to be in the parking lot of the post office but let me give you a glance at it. So we put our mail in here, it has the collection times right here. So we've got Monday through Friday, 4.45, Saturday at 11. Almost every home in America has their own personal mailbox located outside of their house, um, alongside the road, um, just like this one you see behind me. And it's really easy. This is the really the simplest way to mail a letter because the postal, postal worker comes every day except for Sundays and national holidays. Let me just take a, a <laughs> quick glance right here at the whole that, truck. That's why it's yeah. on that side. <laughs> scanning, scanning, mail truck, mail truck, and front of the office. All right, this is the mail delivery truck that they use. See the red, white, and blue, yes. And you'll notice also that the steering wheel is on the right side of the road. <laughs> so you guys, that's normal for you because in Indonesia we drive on the right side of the road. But in America, the steering wheel is usually on the left side. Since the mailboxes <laughs> are on the road, on the, yeah, right, yeah. on the side of the road, then the mail carriers have to deliver and they don't have to get out of their, their truck in order to deliver the mail. And so you just have to put your mail in the mailbox, lift up the flag, and that lets the postal worker know that you have mail that um, you want taken that day. And then after he's taken it, he'll put the flag down, just like this. So if it's up, that, if it's up, that means that there is mail that you want him to take. And then after he takes it, he puts the flag down. So that's the simplest way to mail a letter here in America. You just make sure that you have your return address as well as the sender's address and um, the correct postage. I'll just show you a couple other examples of houses that um, you can see that they have mailboxes outside of them. There's another one behind me. And as you can see, the driveway is pretty long up actually to the house itself, um, but the mailbox is outside the fence alongside the road. And so that's just really easy. In the winter um, where it snows a lot, you need to make sure that there's a big area around 
the mailbox so that snow isn't collecting or ice and that way the postal worker has easy access to uh, get to your mailbox and so it's really convenient you just have to walk out to your mailbox and uh, and get your letters you just have to make make sure that you have the right postage and you're good to go some people get really creative with their mailboxes like the mailbox behind me is a little bit different than the standard mailbox um, this one over here is actually made of brick which is pretty cool They also paint them and some of them look like fish so you can be really creative with the way your mailbox looks. Besides the U.S. mail, there's also services like FedEx and UPS, like the truck, the FedEx truck that just went by, and those are services that deliver door to door. If you don't live in a home, but you live in an apartment, you usually have a key that accesses a mailbox that you can, that your mail is delivered to every day as well. And so, so the mail that you want to uh, send out there's a special box to put it in and then the postal worker he puts your mail in the box and you access that with your key and so that's pretty simple as well probably every day we get some kind of mail in the mailbox um, a lot of times it's just what we call junk mail it's usually like advertisements or credit card applications uh, things like that that we consider junk mail um, but almost every day you get some kind of piece of mail. So guys, that is how we do mail here in America. I hope that you find it interesting and that you learned a little bit um, about our mail system and how we send out our mail. So what do you guys think? Is that a lot different than the way that we do it in Indonesia or do you think it's the same? Um, I'd like to hear your comments and thoughts on that. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me some comments. Don't forget to let me know what kind of things you would like for me to talk about while I'm here in America for the next three months. Give me some ideas, give me some clues as to what you're interested in and keep smiling.